my butterfly friends. Today we're going to review our colors with our butterflies in English and in Spanish and then we'll hear a story about a very special, very hungry caterpillar. Let's start with our calendar. Put up your five and two. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great, let's count and find out what the date is. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Great job. Let's say the date all together. Let's look up. T for Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Can we say it together? Today is Tuesday, April 28th, 2020. Great job. Put on those spying eyes. Now get to the window and look up to the sky. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it windy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? I see something shining up high in the sky. What do you see? A beautiful sun. Hopefully it stays sunny. Maybe a few clouds, but for now we'll put our sun. Good, I hope it's a beautiful sunny day. Maybe you'll be able to go outside and search for a caterpillar or a butterfly. Let's review our life cycle of a butterfly song. Are you ready? First comes a butterfly who lays an egg. Out pops a caterpillar with many legs. See that caterpillar spin and spin. A little chrysalis to sleep in. Oh, 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 look and see. Oh, 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 look and see. Out of the chrysalis, me, oh my. Out comes a beautiful butterfly. Good, let's look at the pictures here and review. First, a mommy butterfly comes and lays an egg. Then out of the egg, a little caterpillar pops out. Then it eats and eats and eats till it gets big and full. And then it's going to spin a chrysalis around its body like a hard shell. And it's gonna sleep inside the chrysalis and use all the energy from the food that it ate to do something special. It's going to change from a caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. So the wings are growing when the butterfly is inside the chrysalis. And then when it's ready, it will pop out of the chrysalis shell and it will begin to flap its beautiful wings and put the beautiful color into its wings. And then when it's ready, it will fly away. And if it's a girl caterpillar, it will lay a new egg. That's why we call it the life cycle because it keeps going round and round. The mommy butterflies lay the eggs, the caterpillar comes out, it eats a lot of food, it makes a chrysalis, and out comes another beautiful cater uh, butterfly. We can see in the pictures here how the caterpillar is popped out of the egg, then he's gonna eat and eat and eat all these leaves. They eat and get big and fat. Then they form a hard skin into a chrysalis. It is changing inside. You can kind of see that 
if the chrysalis is kind of see-through, you can see the wings starting to grow. The butterfly comes out of the chrysalis. Female butterflies lay eggs. That means a girl chrysalis or a mom chrysalis lays an egg. Look, there it is, the old chrysalis that the butterfly came out of. How cool is that? Caterpillars like to eat leaves. We can eat things that look like leaves too. These are some of the things that I had in my refrigerator that I like to eat that look like leaves. Look at the top of my celery. This is a celery stick, and these are celery leaves, and I love to eat these. They have a great flavor. You can smell them. They smell so good. I love to eat those. They look like a leaf. This is called parsley. Look at the parsley. It looks just like a what? Like a leaf. I love to eat parsley. I like to sprinkle it on my food. You could eat it in a salad. This is a big one, and this isn't even the whole thing. This is cut in half, but this is Swiss chard. This is a beautiful big piece. It looks like a giant leaf. You can eat this. You can cut it. You can cook it. You can uh, wrap things in it. It's pretty cool, and we're eating a leaf just like a caterpillar. Some other things I love to eat that look like leaves, spinach, lettuce. Maybe you have something in your refrigerator that looks like a leaf that you can eat. Show me if you have one. Let's talk about our colors and let's use our special butterflies to help us. We'll say our colors in English and in Spanish. We can also learn the word for butterfly in Spanish. In Spanish, a beautiful butterfly is called mariposa. Can you say mariposa? That's how you say butterfly. Butterfly, mariposa. Butterfly, what color are you? Color are you? Color are you? Butterfly, what color are you? I can say it in Spanish too. What color is this beautiful butterfly? Red. In Spanish we say rojo. Can you say rojo? Good job. Let's see if we can make a rainbow of butterflies. Butterfly, what color are you? Color are you? color are you? Butterfly, what color are you? I can say it in Spanish too. Here comes another beautiful butterfly. It's orange. How do we say orange in Spanish? Anaranjado or naranja. Can you say anaranjado? Great job. Butterfly, what color are you? I can say it in Spanish too. A beautiful yellow butterfly. For Spanish, we say amarillo. Can you say amarillo? Great job. Butterfly, what color are you? I can say it in Spanish too. A beautiful green butterfly. For Spanish, we say verde. Can you say verde? Good job. Butterfly, what color are you? Color are you? Color are you? Butterfly, what color are you? I can say it in Spanish too. This butterfly is blue. How do we say blue? Azul. Can you say azul? Good job. Butterfly, what color are you? Color are you? Color are you? Butterfly, what color are you? I can say it in Spanish too. This beautiful butterfly is purple. How do we say purple? Morado. Can you say morado? Good job. Butterfly, what color are you? I can say it in Spanish too. This beautiful butterfly is pink. I love pink. Do you know how to say pink in Spanish? Rosa. Can you say rosa? Like a rose. Think of a rose. Rosa. Good. Now we have a beautiful rainbow of butterflies. How pretty. Let's read a special book about a caterpillar who is very, very, very hungry. 
he's gonna eat so many things. Why do the cat caterpillars eat a lot of food? They need a lot of energy. They need so much energy to change from a caterpillar all the way into a butterfly when they're inside the chrysalis. So they eat, eat, eat lots and lots of leaves. Like we said, we can eat leaves too. And this hungry caterpillar is so hungry, he's not just gonna eat leaves. Wait till you see. The very hungry caterpillar. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. There he is on the little egg on the big leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Look how cute he is, he's so tiny. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through an apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Oh my, on Saturday, the very hungry caterpillar ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. If you ate all those things, you would definitely have a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't little anymore either. He was a big, fat caterpillar, whoa. He built a small house called a cocoon or chrysalis around his body. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he cracked open his cocoon and pushed his way out and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, how beautiful. Do you see that the butterfly wings are the same on this side and the same design on the other side? That's because butterflies have symmetry. That means the same on one side and the same on the other side. Two big red circles over here, yellow, yellow, pink at the bottom, blue, blue. Do you see how it's matching on both sides? Butterflies have symmetry. Let's sing another song to help us remember the special word that means from when a caterpillar grows into a butterfly because a caterpillar is not the same as a butterfly. When something grows into something new, that special word is called metamorphosis. Can you say it? Metamorphosis, good job. Let's sing a little song about our caterpillar. Caterpillars eat, eat, eat lots and lots of leaves. Caterpillars eat, eat, eat lots and lots of leaves. Then they spin, 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 spin a little chrysalis. Then they spin, 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 spin a little chrysalis. Then they wait, 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 wait for wings to grow. Then they wait, 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 wait for wings to grow. Then they pop, pop, pop out of the chrysalis. Then they pop, pop, pop out of the chrysalis. Now they flap, 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 beautiful new wings. Now they flap, 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 
beautiful new wings. Caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillar turns into a beautiful butterfly. That's what we call, call, call metamorphosis. That's what we call, call, call metamorphosis. Good job. You can pretend to be a little caterpillar. First comes a butterfly who lays an egg. Pretend you're in your egg. Out comes a caterpillar with many legs. Can you crawl like a caterpillar? Now spin around and make your chrysalis. See the caterpillar spin and spin. A beautiful chrysalis to sleep in. Then we wait and wait and wait for our wings to grow. Out of the chrysalis, me, oh my. Let me see your butterfly wings. Out comes a beautiful butterfly. Good job. I can't wait to see what you show me. If you have something that you can eat that looks like a leaf, just like a caterpillar, show me. Maybe it's celery leaves, maybe it's spinach, maybe it's parsley like we saw, maybe it's lettuce. I wanna see what you eat that's like what the caterpillar eats or if it's one of the fruits that the very hungry caterpillar ate. Maybe it's an apple or a pear or a plum or a strawberry or an orange. I want to see what you eat that's just like our friend the very hungry caterpillar. You can also go outside and go on your nature hunt to see if you find any caterpillars or butterflies. I can't wait to see what you find.